This is a fun statistic. According to a new poll from CNN, 12% of American adults have never heard of Mike Pence, the vice president. <laughs> of course, the number's expected to go down when he becomes president in a few months, but until then, how not, if you're one of those people, Mike Pence is the vice president of the United States. He was created when a bolt of lightning struck a container of non-fat yogurt. And I find this to be shocking, and I, I'm not so sure I believe it. So in the interest of science, we went out in the street today and we conducted our own poll. We showed pedestrians a photo of Mike Pence and we said, who is this man? And this is how that went. Who is this man? I have no idea. Who is this man? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you had to guess. If I had to guess, maybe a senator of some kind? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. He's with the government, senator or somebody. What's, his, what's the first letter of his name? M. I don't know. I forget. Do you want to know the first and second letters? Yeah. M-I. Mm. M-I-K-E-P-E-N-C-E. I don't know. Who is this? I'm not sure. <laughs> Do you know who the vice president is? Um, Joe Biden. Who is this man? Ted Turner. I have no idea. Bill Clinton. No. No, I don't know. Vice President? I don't know his name. All right. Who'd you vote for in the last election? Bernie Sanders. I know, I know his name, but it's like the tip of my tongue. Uh... Heartbeat away from the presidency. It literally, it rhymes with Nike. Nike. Dense. Mike. Yes. Mike Dense. It rhymes with pants. Pants. Mike Pen. Pants. It is pants. Pants. Pen. <laughs> nope. It is literally pants. <laughs> Stop, guys. Mike Pen. Pants. I am now telling you, it is. It is pants. Pants. Spell it. M I K E P E N. Yes. N S. No. P E N. Yes. T. Nope. <laughs> P-E-N-C-E? -E? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I have to admit, in a, in a way, I'm jealous of those people. I really am. You know, the former CEO of Starbucks, a gentleman named Howard Schultz, is thinking about running for president. And so far, he's doing a bang-up job. He did an interview in which he suggested that billionaires should instead be referred to from here on as people of means, which is a venti, stupid thing to say. <laughs> Great way to get regular Americans to rally around you is to tell them you get your feelings hurt when they call you a billionaire. And by the way, don't tell us what to call you when you ran a company that literally can't spell any of our names right. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is... Uh... Elizabeth Warren is having a bad week, too. The Washington Post just dug up her registration card for the Texas State Bar in 1986. And you can see she listed her ethnicity as American Indian. So she apologized for that today, and she apologized for changing her ethnicity from white to Native American when she was working at the University of Pennsylvania in 1989. She should be forced to live in a teepee for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Senator Warren. We've moved your office to a wigwam. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Oh, oh.